I wanted it to look for all the world like a real gallery, and I wanted the audience to look at the artworks. Um, I chose three, I made up, I mean, the artists, I made them up, but they're all based on actual artists. Agnes Vogue, the one I made up, does these weird little constructions out of uh, animal skeletons and antenna and fur and wings, sort of like what Nancy Graves was doing. Um, and then I have four enormous white paintings that were a sort of homage to both Robert Ryman and Rauschenberg. And then I had a clothesline with the clothes and the bodies, which was sort of a merging of Dwayne Hansen and Siegel, who does the plaster bodies. Um, and my ultimate fantasy was to have, to do it in a museum, like at a place like the Whitney, where it's, it's, that's where I imagined the play taking place. And that by day, people would walk through real Dwayne Hansons and real Nancy Graves. It would be a legitimate show. And then in the evening, ble bleachers would be rolled into those rooms. And the same audience would come back, and they would essentially see themselves, you know, looking at these objects. And that was always my dream. And I remember asking Joe if there was any way we could, you know, get the real models that my pieces were based on, or if we could do it in a museum. And he said, the insurance would be prohibitive. We just can't do that. But I did, I did want to blur the lines between um, the visual arts and the dramatic arts. That was very much on my mind.